look like shit. My friend left me a package, so I'm gonna open that if I have scissors. Oh my gosh. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. Maybe, is it like a sun catcher or something? I don't know. It's cute though. It's cute. Bella, I love you. Thank you to my friend for sending me this package. It's really appreciated. Okay, so I think I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna watch my show. And one more thing, sorry. Um, I don't know how to vlog, so we're just gonna try it out. Okay, bye. spicy chicken sandwich. I went to Chick-fil-A with some of my friends for lunch or for, it was like in the late afternoon. Is this kind of a mediocre dinner? Yes, but is it delicious? Yes. I feel like I should warm it up though. It's too hot, so I'm gonna eat it with a fork and knife. Feel free to judge me. And the madness can go home. To your hovel. Do what you're so skilled at and make yourself at home. I'm making any deals with you. I'm leaving town. What? today is to go grocery shopping which I f***ing hate it's pretty empty other than water, eggs and what is this? some probiotic drinkable non-fat yogurt so yeah I need to go grocery shopping um, I have to deliver a book to my friend uh, at school because we're working on a project for art history together. And then I think I might just stay there because um, usually if I stay home, I tend to slack. There's the water that's boiling for my coffee. <laughs> I actually do the inverse method for AeroPress, which is you actually flip the whole container upside down and then you steep it that way to stir the coffee grounds to like bloom them or whatever. I actually think I put in too much water. Yeah, whatever. Yes, I know that um, every vlogger under the sun vlogs their coffee morning routine, but I will say that caffeination in any form is a legitimate part of my morning, so that's why I'm filming it. <laughs> so basically all you have to do with this is flip it over the cup. As soon as you hear air release, that's when you know you're done. Like that. And you can simply just pop them out into a puck into the garbage. And I think I'm just gonna drink it like this because I usually drink it black anyway. Cheers. Bold. 
also, today's supposed to be a pretty overcast day, so I should probably bring an umbrella inside. grocery shopping for today. Um, but there was a lot of people in the grocery store today. So, and I'm not used to vlogging, so it was kind of hard and awkward to like film everything, but at the same time, I don't really care. I just do what I do. So apart from the normal stuff that I usually get, I actually got these. Oh, it's not focusing, but they're called Jaffa Cakes. And I got these because I watched a lot of the Great British Baking Show. And in one of the challenges, for the technical challenge, they made Jaffa Cakes, and I've always wanted to try them. So that's what I'm gonna have with an afternoon tea in a second. Oh, uh, no. I mean, I have to eat this whole package now, but I don't really care. It's kind of raining really hard outside right now, so I don't really wanna go all the way to the studio. So I think I'm just gonna get my work done here. And then I'll tell my friend that uh, I can drop the book off to her tomorrow. Good morning. So I kind of fell asleep last night after dinner uh, and I didn't get the work done that I needed to. One of our instructors put in a new 3D printer that I need to use for one of my projects. That's what we're gonna do right now. I woke up really early even though my class is at like 1.30. Um, so I think I'm just going to join remotely from school instead of from home.
sorry if it's hard to hear me with the mask on. <laughs> and also my glasses fog up if I try to talk, but it's fine. I'm gonna get started on those 3D models uh, so I can do my 3D printing job. And this should take about, I wanna say like an hour to do all the models. And then I'm gonna bring it over there to the uh, printer. Most days since um, we're in a pandemic, um, a lot of the school is pretty much empty because they stagger their classes. Um, so I don't really tend to see that many people around, um, but we're still required to wear masks in the studio. Um, yeah, it's nice though because I kind of like how quiet it is. Um, and it's easier to get work done that way, at least for me. I'm taking a CNC class and um, instead of SolidWorks or AutoCAD, we use uh, Rhino 6 to 3D model and create our tool paths. Um, but I should just make a disclaimer that I'm really new to Rhino. So if you're watching my workflow or whatever, and it's absolute shit, then that's why, because I'm new. <laughs> um, yeah, but basically it's, it's just like a bunch of commands that you type in. There are many ways to approach the modeling aspect. Um, and there's so many different commands that I just don't remember or that I just learned through word of mouth. I'm really not advanced at this yet. <laughs> So it's about 1.20, uh, the 3D printer's going, and it should be done on Friday at around 3. Um, so I gotta let that go. And then I printed some articles for my art history class. Um, we're, right now we're talking about gender in relation to design and um, we actually have class in like 10 minutes. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, it's still kind of difficult to talk to the camera just because I'm insecure I guess or self-conscious. I'll post more vlogs probably on a weekly bi-weekly basis of kind of my navigating through grad school also in Chicago so if that's something that you're interested in uh, please subscribe um, or leave any comments down below of any questions that you have or any comments but yeah thanks for watching <laughs>